I want to start the stream today by saying thank you to Kony, aka God's Strongest Soldier, aka the Vanguard of Dads Worldwide, for picking a fight with adult Bluey fans on social media and then fighting for his life, for doing what I don't have the strength to do. It's heroic. It's noble. I saw you say it in MISC too. I mean, it's a little insane that I have to have new material on stream and off stream. You've been telling the same story about interesting shit that happened to you in like 2013 to everybody you meet for the last decade. I'm on the clock 100% of the time. That's crazy. Why is everybody saying we're gatekeeping Bluey now? I, I, here's the thing. Coney said, paraphrasing, it weirds me out when people without kids watch Bluey. People get in his replies with like, what I, I mean, it's an, it's an insane statement for Coney to make, even though I agree with it. I acknowledge it's insane. It doesn't mean there's not a little bit of truth to it with his own personal feelings, but it is an insane statement to make. People are like, oh, so we're gatekeeping good old-fashioned, good-natured, wholesome entertainment? Yeah, not gatekeeping, really. I'm just like, you can watch it if you want. I'm just expressing my opinion. Oh, so you're not allowed to watch kids' TV shows unless you have kids? No, you can still watch it. I'm just going to say, like, why? You could be watching The Sopranos. I mean, it's, it, you can do whatever you want to do. Don't get me wrong. I'm just going to, you know, we have the First Amendment in this country, I think. I don't know, to be honest with you. It's probably in the Charters of Rights and Freedoms somewhere. You can be like, hey, you know, why are you talking about Bluey at the function? You're scaring the hose. Oh, so the hose gets scared by good writing now? I don't know, bro. I'm just trusting my amygdala on this one. I did reply to Justin when he's talking about all the German sex bots on Twitter that say, meine Nacht photos im profil. Why is German so funny, man? Meine Nacht photos im profil. We suck a dick. <laughs> we have an in serious problem. Oh, man. It's so crazy, too, because, like, if German was... Culturally speaking, not in terms of like population, but if it was the language that, well, I don't know, what, that's not the dominant language. What would, it's the lingua franca. It's the language of international business. If German was the lingua franca instead of English, which is a crazy statement to say, um, English would be mercilessly mocked, bro. My no reaction when Das Americaners call Regenbogen Strusel rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty good, right? Plus two, I took German. I didn't, but I feel like I was pretty close, right? I was just using words from, like, you know, other memes that I've seen. Plus zwei. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. So true. I mean, there's problems with English. You're not wrong. When they call a schmetterling a butterfly when it is not consisting of butter... Oh, man. English sucks, man. Yeah, but that's why it owns so much. Because, like, once you master it, you can have, like, a superiority complex. You know, like, whenever we talk about learning a, a foreign language in here, I'm always like, e English is really hard to learn as a second language. People pop in, they're like, actually, it's not. Actually, it's like, it's, it's actually kind of like a, a medium tier difficult language. to. If you want a hard language to learn, learn Klingon. No, no, I'm not going to learn Klingon because... I'm not going to take a spaceship to fucking Klingon town and stay in a Ryokan in Klingonville, okay? We're talking about real stuff here. We're talking about the human beings. Hungarian? Brother, I don't... Uh, uh, the amount of people learning English worldwide is probably like 500 million. The amount of people learning Hungarian worldwide is lower than that. That's not a, that's not a fair comparison. Also, like no disrespect, if you learned English in school before the age of 14, I don't really care if you think it's hard or easy, because it's easy, because you did it when you were a kid. Oh, it's really hard to learn Mandarin? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's insanely hard to learn Mandarin. Uh, 250 million babies did it last year. Yeah, that sounds hard. That sounds difficult. Oh, oh, that's not fair, that's not fair. That's the way you sound right now. I took 15 years of English class in school in Luxembourg, and I learned English very well. Yeah, no shit. That's like 5,000 hours of instruction, buddy. Move, run, jump. Okay, okay. 
If you already mentioned your daily Peloton bid. No, because people get mad because they hate us because they, hate us, they hate us. I did PB again today um, on the 60-minute discipline. Pretty good PB. I PB'd last week with a roughly 220-watt average over 60 minutes. Today, I think I hit 222. It was, I mean, it's like a 0.8% improvement, but that is pretty good, man. It's getting hard. It's getting difficult. Okay, okay, okay. Break, 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 break. You gotta, you gotta break grip sometimes. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, by the way, with the, the myth of Sisyphus. A lot of people haven't uh, read the classics. Um... Sisyphus was a, 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 a demigod, a titan in the world of Greece before Herodotus existed. He stole fire from the gods and um, as a result, a fucking goose got to eat his liver forever. Unless his boy Sisyphus can get the rock up the hill, which he can't because as soon as he does it just rolls down the other side. A lot of people aren't familiar with that. A lot of people... I know a lot of you were on illicit substances that have recently become legalized when you were in uh, classics class in your fucking high school. Probably had like tall ass ceilings and big plate glass windows and shit. I do remember um, one time on the school bus, must have been like fifth or sixth grade. I had a bucket hat that I got from the giant tiger. And uh, bus windows were down, must have been like May or something like that. Kid behind me grabbed my bucket hat, threw it out the window. As soon as it was clearly out the window and gone, he started to cry. Which I think is like a perfect encapsulation of what it's like to be a kid. It's like you just are incapable of looking at the short-term consequences of your actions. Like he threw my hat out the window and then as soon as it was out the window, he started to cry because he knew he was going to get in trouble. And then I talked to the bus driver and I was like, the kid threw my hat out the window. So the bus driver stopped the bus, made him get out and then go look for it in like the woods next to the road. And then he had to find it and give it back to me. And he was apologizing. I was like, it's not that big of a deal. I just like, this is a big waste of time for no reason. <laughs> then the bus driver clapped. Then why'd you report it? Because it's my hat, bro. Because it's my ass if I go home and my mom's like, where's your hat? And what am I supposed, supposed to say? Some kid threw it out the window? Like, I gotta have plausible... I, I gotta demonstrate to her that I made a good faith effort to get it back. U.S. bus driver would not stop. I, I'm sure there's bus drivers in the U.S. Not, not all of your problems are caused by the flag, okay? There's maybe a correlation. I'm sure there's lots of perfectly nice bus drivers. The nicest bus driver in the world might be American, for all I know. What have I done? Break, 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 break! They need to break, bro! Oh, brother. <laughs> Same situation. Oh, did you see that grind, though? Press R? Why would I press R? This is the, this is the game. I love the picture-in-picture, -picture, bro. Very stylistic. Sisyphus didn't have an R button. You realize, I, 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 the fact that everyone treats the Sisyphus myth as if it's like the same thing as the trolley problem is mildly, it's not a big deal, but it's mildly, mildly irritating to me. I think there's a lot of parallels to life as a human being in the myth of Sisyphus. Why on earth, if I drop the rock, would I rush to the bottom to start pushing the rock again? The part where the rock has, is falling that's my only break, brother. That's what it's all about. You want me to fast forward through my time off from work to get back to work. So what? So I can be done work faster? What do I do when I finish work faster? I do more work. You got to relax. You got you got to embrace the climb and you got to embrace the descent. You just gave me anxiety? Good. It means there's parts of your brain you've never used before that have just been activated. I maintain if you want to punish Sisyphus, you take away the rock. We're kind of missing the point of the Sisyphus myth. He gets stronger. The point is, is that we are free to imagine him happy because he is. He becomes a person who can roll a boulder up a hill every single day and do it again. And it's amazing because there is a deepening of self. As he does it over and over and over again, it is different every day. 
not because what he's doing is different. It's actually because the thing that he's doing is the same, but he is then allowed to become different. It's kind of a metaphor for having a practice and a routine and like doing the same thing every day and like cyclical, seasonal, blah, 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 that thing. It is an ode to physical suffering because that brings enlightenment. Rolling a boulder up a hill every single day is not a punishment. It is his reward. Because then the dude's just going to be bored. That might be even worse than pushing a, a boulder up a hill. At least pushing the boulder up the hill, you could be like, today I'm going to push a goofy foot. Today I'm going to push it, you know, I'm going to nollie up the hill. Today I'm going to go for a PB. You know what? Today I'm just going to stay in zone two. We're going to take it easy today. We're going to limit our cortisol production. And then tomorrow we're going to grind up this hill. We're going we're gonna to try to set a new speed run record. Atlas doesn't get breaks? Yeah, he's the dude you should be sorry for. You ever read Camus? Yeah, the one book. The Stranger. Where, um... Melisandre sits on her hands until it goes numb. The one book! Oh, sorry, I meant L'Estranger. Mmm. I was about to read it. I would always recommend... I mean, listen. There's a calculus, and readers are not going to love this, but I'm just being honest. I'm giving you the normie perspective. There's a calculus when it comes to choosing a book to read. You want something that is A, good, and maybe like entertaining, meaningful, yada, yada, yada. But you also want something, at least as, a, as a, someone who's not reading a ton, you want something where after you finish it, you can be part of the conversation, right? Like, you don't want to be the first person to read a novel and then be like, hey, what'd you guys think about this novel? People would be like, I haven't read that shit. So you got to pick something that's like uh, well known. And then you want it. You want something. I mean, this is my two cents. So many people are like, I'm going to get into reading. And they're like, first book, nuts on the table. We're going Ulysses, James Joyce. Nah, bro. Start with the classic that's like 105 pages. There's meaningful novels that you can finish in like you know a week of reading 20 minutes a night before bed read the old man in the sea shit is 51 pages read i mean i personally wasn't a huge fan of brave new world but brave new world probably 300 300 pages and you, you get to be part of the discourse you get to be part of the moment the stranger 120 pages Bartleby the Scrivener, four pages. World War Z, <laughs> World War Z, 800 pages. Like, I know where you'll find me. Where, what, what a shot, man! He put the damn English on it. Cider House Rules. Uh-oh, 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 break, break, break. Cider House Rules, I read that one. The Princes of Maine, the Kings of New England. Ether, it's the, fir the first time I ever heard about Ether. I didn't know that much about Nas at the time. You got to be aware, though, and, and this is probably going to be a selling point for you now that I think about it. As soon as you start reading a John Irving novel, you got to know that that dude is obsessed with MILFs. Every single book. Let me get where, where's the high school senior who's on his summer break and then he's going to fucking liberal arts college in September and he moves into like the guest suite of a... Uh, 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 marriage that's been going on for 22 years and like the husband travels a lot and the wife is like feeling unfulfilled okay here we go you'll never be page three she looked detested by me page five locked in each other's embrace i felt like there was nothing else in the world at that moment how do you know this i've read cider house rules and uh, a prayer for owen meany and which one was the one that a Door in the Floor, the movie was based on. I read that one too. You read House of Leaves? I honestly have not read that many books, but I have read House of Leaves in like, it must have been like 2006 if I had, maybe 2007. It sucks. It's pretty interesting. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like House of Leaves, like when it came out, it was like a revolution and then it had such an impact on discourse that it became like something to make fun of. And then as time has gone on, it's kind of had like that, that sort of matrix reappraisal where people are like, actually this thing that we like parodied 
kind of owned. You know what I was thinking? I, and I'm drawing a parallel here. Isn't uh, a social credit score the closest thing we have in real life to a IRL battle pass? The only thing it's missing is, is the tears. Like you have a permanent score that is impacted by your behavior in your day-to-day -day life. And does it, maybe it does unlock something for you, right? Like, I don't know, if your social credit score is high, do you get, like, first access to, like, hotel reservations or something like that? I'm sure, like, if you go too low and you're like, I want to make a reservation at a good restaurant, they're like, mm, we're standing room only. What is he talking about? I mean, I think it was a fairly reasonable, in terms of ease of understanding, a very, fairly reasonable comparison. I almost feel like, again, I think there, there's a cycle. I don't want to do something. Then the temptation is like, I know, I'll gamify it so that I want to do it. And then like eventually, like the first time you do chores with the fucking chore RPG or whatever, you're like, yes, I just got six levels of sweeping. But then eventually you get bored of the game, but like the chores keep coming and you never learned like a good coping mechanism for actually like tolerating doing them in the first place. So you do them even less than you did before. So I'm guilty of this as well, because I'm like, imagine if you added an IRL battle pass to incentivize like doing the shit that you didn't want to do. Imagine if it was like, it's the summer season. For every liter of water you save, get 35 XP, which you can redeem for like a free book from the library every 10 levels. You'd be like, oh shit, sorry, honey. Gotta skip date night tonight. I'm fucking buying a rain barrel. What if the government was cringe? Library books are already free. I mean to keep, bro. I'll go ban for ban with you in the library any day of the week. I'm in the library, I'm gonna say 35 times annually. It was crazy not going to the library between essentially ages 17 and 34. You were in a library, Andy? during university. Honestly, I don't know what this phrase means, but I felt like people who went to study in the library in university were virtue signaling. It was like pre-Instagram, it was the way that you signaled to your friend group that you were studying. Is like, oh, I sorry, I can't. I'm studying in the library. And I'm like, okay, my ass is studying like at home with my laptop and the textbook. I guess you think you're better than me? Like I got all the tools here that I need. I don't what, just because you got like a coffee shop in the, on the ground floor of the library, like it beats our, our house? I don't understand the problem. So, some people, I, I can't be mad if you um, are not great at ignoring the distractions that might be in your domicile, then maybe the library makes sense. Me at age 19, I would be like, well, you should fix yourself. Me more realistically at age 35, Maybe that's a smart decision that helps you get a higher GPA. So you're saying gamification works? I think it can, it can modify your behavior in the short term. Maybe allow you the scaffolding to build a habit to hold it in the long term. What I'm saying is I'm moving to China. I honestly think my social credit score would go insane. I'm not naive enough to think I would be like the highest in the country because I'm competing against a billion people. But I, I'm telling you, me personally, I see myself a top 20% Andy year one. And then from that point onwards, I mean, that's as bad as it's ever going to get, right? Like my rookie season is, is never going to get... Uh, oh, I really thought it was just going to prop it up a little bit. Oh, brother. What do you... People are saying my social credit score would be low. I'm actually a great facilitator. I move out of other people's way on the sidewalk, in the aisles, in the grocery store, etc., etc. I never make special requests at a restaurant. What's your Uber rating? Well, okay, I don't know what my Uber rating is because I have only used it for like four rides in my entire life. We usually use my wife's Uber. I'm going to tell you that my wife has like a 4.91 or something like that, which is like kind of bad actually. But the reason is, I don't want to put her on blast too much, but she didn't take as many taxis as I did when I was growing up, okay? You don't wait to go outside until your Uber driver texts you, I'm here. 
Because that adds like an extra two, three minutes sometimes to the ride, and the Uber driver is going to give you a three or a four. You always have to be outside like three or four minutes before the Uber gets there. So as soon as they pull up, you just get in the seat. You always got to go out first, man. That's, so I, I told her, I was like, you know, the Uber says it's going to be here at like 7.10. It's 7.10 right now. We got to go outside. And then she's like, he hasn't texted yet. And I'm like, you're playing with fire. Uber rating fairly close to social credit. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming mine is high. But I don't know. I don't want to look because it might call that into question. Also, I want to talk to, like, the marketing team at Uber. Why the fuck are you emailing me, like, hey, want to take a ride? You know what your app is for, right? No one's like, oh, I'm bored. Like, let me hop in a fucking Uber. You use it to go somewhere. I got, I'm chilling. I got nowhere to be. Hey, 20% off of your next two rides. I'm not leaving. I'm in my house. I got nowhere to be, man. Think I'm going to pop into an Uber just because, like, it's on sale? Doesn't make any sense. You're 3.97 on Uber? You're fucked, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no disrespect, but like, well, how many times have you written? Because you got like two significant figures in your, in your rating. So you've obviously taken like, you know, a hundred rides or something like that. You know, like restaurants that are in the threes on Google reviews is like someone poured like boiling hot oil on them or something like that. Or they were poisoned. They got diarrhea. There was a fire, etc., etc. They definitely threw up in an Uber. Okay, but who amongst us hasn't done that? Let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater on that one. Lots of good people have. Maybe you didn't eat a, a heavy dinner, and then you said, I'll go out for a couple of drinks, and then all of a sudden it's 3 a.m., and you get an Uber, and you're like, yeah, it's only 10 minutes to the hotel. It happens all the time, man. Better to throw up in a stranger's car than drive drunk. No disrespect, we all know, we all know that. It, it, I don't mean that this, I want this to be instructive. And it's only my personal opinion, okay? How old are you? Because I'm done being condescended to by like people who just turned 19 online. That are like, you should not drive drunk in any circumstances. I'm like, no, I know, we solved that shit. We solved that shit like before I was even born. I'm like twice your age. I've had 20 times the adult experience as you, and you're telling me how to live an adult life? Like, what are you talking about? I'm not saying different perspectives aren't valuable, but like, we got to move on to the higher order problems, man. Cigarettes are bad. Counterpoint, they probably help you uh, fucking um, lock in, maybe. They do. Fuck, man. Maybe I should start smoking. <laughs> With this lung butter? Are you kidding me? No shot, bro. What if you only smoked a cigarette when you had something important to do? Like, what if it was like, oh shit, time to do my taxes. And you like broke a glass panel on the wall. That's not how addiction works? No, bro. Well, I mean, it could be worse, right? At least you're pairing your addiction. You might get addicted to doing your taxes. Next thing you know, you're a chartered accountant working for Ernst & Young. It's not all bad. What is this explosions in the sky track, man? This shit is getting content ID matched 100%. This is the Friday Night Lights fucking official OST. This is the Earth is not a cold dead place. I'm not even, I'm being half facetious. Like it sounds like explosions in the sky, but it might be explosions in the sky. Like this is crazy. I think I gotta turn the music off, man. I think I gotta turn the music off, dude. It's, it's either fucking explosions in the sky or it's like um, do make say think or something like that. Can we get a replacement track? Absolutely. Meet me anywhere or any time or any place and I don't care. Meet me tonight if you will dare. I will dare. You don't know, you know what I'm talking about? The replacements? No? You should listen to the replacements. They gotta be a beloved 80s band within a Gen Z context. Come on. Any new K-pop Kate is playing for you? Yeah, yeah. Um, magnetic? Something magnetic. 
Super something something. <laughs> it's a good song. I think it's a good song. It's going to take something very serious to, to take Song of the Summer Crown 2024 edition from Dash by Enmix. But uh, Magnetic, a, a good song. Good song. He knows. I mean, Song of the Summer, I, I hate to pull the wind out of your sails, K-pop fans. It's um, Steal My Sunshine by Len yet again. But number two, number two Dash by Enmix for sure. You know what I like about K-pop as someone who is not my number one genre of choice? What I like about it as an outsider looking in, I know they have ballads, but it seems like um, the music is largely like 100% unpretentious they're like check it out we wheeled out a new crop of like 20 year olds to try to continue to hone the perfect pop song they're like this is fucking simulation number 15,135 to create the perfect pop song that's ever existed we've cut four seconds off the runtime and added a bossa nova section in the bridge go and then the fucking the eggheads in the lab coats are like mm, uh, to, uh, put two more girls in put two more girls in and then one of them is dressed like in business casual and the other one's in like a school uniform. And then we're going to add three seconds to the runtime and we're going to add a mute to that trombone. Trial number 15,002, boop. And I, I respect it because like, I think that they're, they know, it's, it's unpretentious. Whereas when I think of like, I mean, a, American music, it runs the gamut, but the kind of like popular American music I find detestable is like, self-important drivel like imagine dragons or because i'm a bad liar like it's like songs where the the singer is like okay is rude is a rude statement it's just my personal taste but where they're like writing poetry about their life but their life isn't that interesting and i think k-pop like i mean it seems to avoid what i'm sure is an ever-present impulse like, as, you're, as you become more popular, I'm sure you're like, I want to write a song about my unique struggles and no one, like, I'm too powerful for anybody to say no to me anymore. Maybe that's why it's a great counterbalance to have groups with 25 members so that no member can ever, like, rest control and then just turn it into a solo project. Yes, giving the musicians no power over the studios. Great situation. POV, you are 19 years old. No disrespect. It's, you, you can't help being 19, okay? Well, we're not doing that anymore. I'm 35. I'm not getting into arguments with teenagers online about like the business practices in K-pop. I don't fucking endorse that shit. I'm just in my own lane, moisturized. I'm bothered. We're just talking about the music being catchy, okay? I don't have any control over that. Do I look like JYP? Please tell me yes. He's looking, he's got to be like almost in his 50s. He's looking pretty good. People be like, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Like you, I also listen to K-pop. But unlike you... When I listen, I'm shaking my head because I don't agree with the treatment of these artists. Okay, sure. I mean, it makes you a better person than me. There's no doubt about it. I'm listening to the beta bands. Fucking verses, 99 cadence, 48 resistance in the saddle. As soon as they hit the, the transition mid-song, you know I'm going 65, 65 out of the saddle. I'm listening to the Sigma band. Did you just mog me? You ever play one versus a hundred on... Oh, motherfucker. You ever play one versus a hundred on Xbox Live? I did. I swear it to you. I have no incentive to, to lie about this. One time, I was the one. And I think I, I lost with like 11 people remaining or something like that. Which means I was supposed to get a free copy of Mega Man 9 on the Xbox Live Arcade. But I already had it, and there was like no consolation prize. It was just like Mega Man 9 or fucking nothing. So I didn't earn a prize for it, but I still had a great time. My hands were sweatier than they've ever been. Also, one time, mouth was over. We were playing 1 versus 100, and I swear to God, only an honest streamer would tell you this. The question was, what's the star closest to the Earth? And I don't remember what I picked, but I can tell you that I did not pick the sun. And he said, what are you doing? And I was like, what are you talking about? And then he's like, you know, the sun is the closest star to the earth, right? And I was like, nah, dude, it's like, it's Alpha Centauri. That's why it's called fucking Alpha. And then he's like, no, because like, 
the sun is like right there. And I was like, oh, you're right, you're right. I mean, I know we're like a week late for all the sun talk, but like, it is crazy to think about like, it, fucker is eight minutes away if you're traveling at the speed of light. It's eight light minutes away. And if you walk outside and it's sunny, you feel the heat coming off of it. That's fucking hot, bro. Has anyone ever done any research into this? The heat makes it 93 million miles away? If it explodes, it would take eight minutes until we found out. So you're saying we might be in that eight minutes like right now. Probably not, though. It also has no interference for most of it. What about all the fucking like aluminum cans that the um, CIA sent up into outer space to make radio transmissions possible in the 60s? Wasn't it like the Department of Defense was like, we need to get a, an international wireless communications network established? They were like, I got a good idea. We're going to shoot up a, a bunch of broken glass into low Earth orbit. It was iron needles. I bet it would hurt like a son of a bitch. That's all I'm saying. If you were fucking chilling in outer space and one of those ripped through your gut, you'd probably be like, what the fuck, man? Some dude with Scott Weiland's haircut from the Days of the Week music video was like, I got an idea that won't fuck over in future generations. You would be like, yeah, ouch, there's no doubt. You would be like, Tom, which one's the mouse or which one's the cat? It's got to be Tom Cat, right? That makes sense. Yeah, 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 Tom Cat. Like Tom getting his paw stuck in a mouse trap. Ouch! Oh! And then he pulls it out of the mouse trap, and it's like he's got a thumb, even though he's a fucking cat. And then the thumb is like throbbing and and crimson at the end, and he goes, "Whoa!" And Jerry goes, <laughs> "Millennial card revoked." You know, Tom and Jerry is from like fucking eighteen oh six or something like that. It was it was from a political cartoon. Tom was. Uh, President Calvin Coolidge and Jerry was uh, the leader of the dock workers union at the time. Bill Frizzerly. Can I say something? It might be a little controversial. Obviously, there's worse jobs than this. You could be like the guy who dips his toe in the lava to see how hot it is after a volcano goes off. Newspaper cartoonist has to be a, a very strange job to have. So I imagine like you started drawing, like they all have a gimmick mostly, right? They're like it's Vikings or pirates or fucking this guy's a teenager. There's a dog that flies an airplane or whatever. But like you had like a gimmick that you came up with when you were like red wine drunk in 1991. And then for the next, like, 36 fucking years, five times a week, you have to come up with, like, a new riff on the same fucking premise? That's crazy. Like, that motherfucker is still drawing Garfield. That's crazy, dude. Isn't that what you do? I guess in, like, a sense, but, like, it's pretty close to my dream job, because, like, what... I mean, if I could choose anything to do on a daily basis, at least for a few hours... Saying whatever fucking stupid garbage pops into my head and then having like thousands of people go like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. That's the, the tippy top of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Like that's a fulfilling experience I would recommend to anybody. I don't want to sit down in my easel and draw like zits, fucking cartoon 11,300. The, the dad still doesn't understand like how text messaging works. Dad, you don't have to type hang up at the end of your text message, right? Like, and even if you came up with gold like that, that's fucking Monday. You got, I think you got five more days because isn't like the Sunday funnies is like where you bring your heat? Like Monday to Friday are like your workshop and that shit. And then Sunday's like the comedy store. I was named after Stuart Little. You know what I was going to say? The first thing that popped into my head was everybody say hello to Little Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fucked up because I don't even know if you're Australian, man. Oh, man. I mean, Austrian. Still with the lung? Yeah, but it's almost done.
like uh, every morning I cough out like 35 milliliters of green mucus. And I'm like, that's the last one. Spoilers, it's not the last one, but we're getting there. When I breathe forcefully all the air out of my lungs, my lungs no longer sound like one of those crinkly like aluminum balloons, which I think is positive. That seems like a good, a good intermediate step on the way to health, at least. You have pneumonia? I don't think so. I, um, I said two PBs on the Peloton in the past week. Could someone with pneumonia do that? Tragic news today. Streamer Northern Lion has died. Severe untreated pneumonia. I will say this is like one of the only times. It's, I guess it's never like a great time to die. But if I died, I've complained about the Canadian medical system for so long in the last two years. It would start a fucking movement, brother. It might, I might be a martyr in that case. Those clips would start to resurface and then people would be like, the system left him to die. Isn't it sad that, you know, we're supposed to live in one of the most powerful or richest countries on earth, but we let our strongest citizens die with no attention. And then I pop out of the coffin after they fix all the fucking problems. And I'm like, you're welcome. You didn't do anything. Didn't I, Lisa? Didn't I? Yell Nats, you gotta, you gotta stop asking me every day if I experience deja vu. I get it. I'm, I, I embrace the fact it was an ambitious meme to, to post it one to two times a day. Like, the, it's a high concept joke, okay? It's, it's something ambitious for a Twitch chatter to undertake. But I'm, I don't know what to, I don't know how to answer it. <laughs> it's a, it is a good bit. Conceptually, it's a good bit. You, you know, I, I'm saying this with no disrespect. It's like whenever someone's like, you know, hey, I came up with a great pun for like a lasagna restaurant. Let me lay it on you. Yeah, we should totally start a lasagna restaurant. I'm like, if you ever started that shit, you'd be like, you know, funny name, shit food, one out of five, you know? I don't know shit about making lasagna, man. Like, the, the concept is intriguing. Hey, lasagna lover, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. The concept is good. I just don't know if it could possibly, in execution, if it could ever match up to the, the promises of the conception. You know how I know Italians are built different? I was reading the Wikipedia article on pasta the other day. Why? I was at an Italian restaurant. Did you know pasta became a staple food in Italy? sometime in the 12th or 13th century, we were fucking noshing on sweet potatoes and gross Michelle bananas and stuff like that. In Italy, they were like, mm, goopy carbonara. In the fucking, the, the doge of Venice was eating like short rib pappardale and shit like that. That's crazy, man. Apparently though, I will say, prior to uh, discovering the existence of the tomato in the new world, they were eating the pasta sauceless, which is kind of crazy. Like they were just boiling up like a cauldron of farfalle and then like, I guess, chowing down. But <laughs> still, they were more right than wrong, I suppose. Not dry. They added some oil. Oh, no. Catch you, eh, Pepe, again, mama? Alio, eh, olio, again, mama? Least spoiled kid in 13th century Modena. <laughs> I don't know much about iShow Speed. I saw that to celebrate getting 24 million subscribers on YouTube, he ran out of his room and then sprinted full speed and did a diving headbutt into his setup and <laughs> ended his stream as a result of breaking all of his shit. And I was like, that's hilarious. I'm sorry, okay? I'm not saying that everything he's ever done is, you know, agreeable. But that's fucking funny, dude. Everybody needs a friend like that in the friend group. Like, every, every friend group needs, like, a, a, a Steve-O, man. It is like a jackass bit. 
Is it funny? You're fucking ass. If, if Gigi Allen came back from the dead and was like, hey, tickets to the Splash Zone are 15 bucks, you would be like, he's a punk icon. I show speed, does a diving headbutt into his fucking comped PC. Everybody loses their minds. Racing 150 miles per hour in a city center is not pretty boss, though. One. Two. Bitch. Fuck you, man. Did I say that? Did I, did I say, hey, you know what my favorite I Show Speed clip is? The one where he drives insanely dangerously in the middle of the city? Did I say that's swagged up? No, I said it's fucking funny the way he dove into the fucking monitor. <laughs> You did? Uh, I let the mask slip. I let the mask slip. Yeah, do, do, have you considered that he did a fucking front flip before he headbutted the monitor? That He's fucking agile, dude. He's four feet tall? I don't think that's true, but that makes it even more impressive. Isn't it harder to backflip when you're short? Because you, you're getting pulled down by gravity more? What are you talking about? There's less gravity? Uh, the closer you get to the center of the earth, the stronger gravity is. So shorter people have a harder time backflipping. It's science. They're like 12 to 6 inches closer to the core of the earth than a tall person. <laughs> the point oh 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 one G's are massive. <laughs> Pardon me. Bro put the shit on his shoulder. You're thinking of Icarus. That's a different guy. A lot of people didn't keep up on their required Greek reading. Atlas, the map guy? Atlas Mercator? He's canceled. How long is this game? I hope longer than this, because like I've, I've been killing it, bro. It's crazy. People would be like, oh, doing this, it's a torture. It's spiritually taxing. It's a punishment from the gods. What a cruel world we live in. Then they'll be like, oh, new mini golf place just opened up. It's the same shit, bro. Mini golf is pog? That's what I'm saying. I only got one problem with mini golf, and I'm like, why is this shit so expensive? Building costs? It's mini golf, brother. It's not a fucking bridge. Let's relax. Real estate? It's always in like a fucking parking lot somewhere next to like four food trucks. I think they're taking advantage of us. Why don't you build one then? I guess what I would say is that um, despite being expensive, I have to imagine that it's actually kind of a shit business because you don't see them popping up everywhere. So I'm not really that interested in running a mini golf course. Mini golf son or foosball daughter? Um, mini golf son. First time I think I've ever taken the son in one of these. People who get really into foosball when they go to their first year of, uh, of college, kind of annoying. I've never like been at a bar and had someone go like, hey, let's play mini golf. And then they get 18 holes in one in a row. I have been at the bar, and some dude is like, let's play foosball. And I'm like, you're not great, are you? And he's like, oh, I played a little bit. And then he's fucking doing, he's flipping it up onto the things and balancing them and then passing it back and forth between his dudes in the same row. And then I spin it because you're supposed to spin it in foosball. That's half the fun. And then he goes, you're not allowed to spin. You're not allowed to spin? When you get good at foosball, you're not allowed to spin anymore? Spinning is sick, man. Like 90% of the time you spin it, it just goes flying off into the corner. But that one time that you spin it and you hear the tunk when it gets past the goalie. Oh, man. Ping pong or air hockey? I like them both. I don't, I don't want to... I reject the premise of the question. We can have both. I feel like they both got problems. Like air hockey, a table at like a good arcade where it's maintained is beautiful. You put your hand on that, your hand floats a little bit. It's like the closest you ever get to be in a cloud. If your friend growing up is like, I got an air hockey table in, your, in my basement, you're like, cool. Then he plugs it in and it's one of those like third 322 in one games where it's like, it's a shitty air hockey table. It's a shitty pool table. It's a shitty foosball table. It's shitty darts. It's shitty shuffleboard. Like it's, it's, it's shitty pinball. It's everything. It's shitty everything. But then, like, ping pong, I always feel like they have them in a lot of public parks in Vancouver with, like, a ping pong table and the balls and the paddles. I feel like the paddles are always missing or it's too windy and the ball just keeps getting blown around so you can't even really play. 
I, I haven't had a good game of ping pong in a long time. That's why you play inside. Yeah, but like, where do you play ping pong? I guess like at the community center, the break room of your email job, maybe, I guess, at bars. We're not, it's illegal in Vancouver, maybe in the entirety of British Columbia. It's illegal to put fun things in a place where there's also alcohol because then people might be too enticed to drink. Right now, there's no incentive to drink beer and they want to keep it that way. People are like, ah, I'd love to have a beer, but unfortunately, this bar isn't allowed to have a foosball table or like video game consoles or a dartboard or something. Hmm, I guess I'll just abstain. You know, that's how people, that's how behavior works, I think, most of the time. It kind of blew my mind when, it, when I was in New York for Champions of Fire. We were in a bar that just stayed open. Like, there's no last call. We left at like 3.30 or 4 in the morning. They had uh, like a, two skee-ball machines. and fucking, They had like lots of interactive stuff that you could do instead of just like sitting down at a table drinking beers. I was like, this is what the world could be like, man. Massachusetts is like that. They can only do appy hours. I, dude, I didn't realize Boston and Vancouver, are, they suck in the same ways, at least in that sense. Um, we, they only made happy hours legal in Vancouver in like 2015 or something like that because it was like before prior to that it was like you can't put alcohol on sale because then people might like buy more of it there's a bar near me where it's seven dollars all you can drink I'm genuinely not like a puritan moralizing fascist that like you know wants to police everybody's behavior that should be illegal though Remember that uh, baseball game that had 10 cent beer night and it ended with like um, fist fights and physical assaults and stuff in the stands? I will say if I was at 10 cent beer night and the shit erupted into a riot, I would be pissed off because I would be like, you're actually ruining a good thing for everybody just because like 38% of you can't handle it. <laughs> Probably was not like 1%. They, they, I mean, there were people that were probably having like 25 beers in the stands. I imagine that it was kind of a fucked up environment. But okay, we made it to the next step. Don't, don't make a liar out of me. I'm going to get another sparkling water and put this on pause for just a moment. Okay, hold for one second. We're back. He's off to zero. Comparison shopped at the grocery store yesterday. Wasn't at Costco. I'm not going to knock Costco. Sparkling water was cheaper than the Coke Zero. I said we're going sparkling this week. Caffeine headache about to pop. You got me confused with you. That's your problem. Also, I know I've said it before, but I stand by it. There is obviously not... From a chemistry standpoint, Coke Zero has caffeine. You can see it on the can. From a, a drug response standpoint, there is zero caffeine in a Coke Zero. It doesn't elicit a, a response, at least not a discernible one. You're not getting addicted to caffeine off Coke Zeros. You'd be drinking like 25 Coke Zeros a day, like at the height of your addiction. It doesn't, like, it, it doesn't compute, man. You'd be, you'd be piss maxing. You'd be addicted to pissing. Why do you think they're adding it? I thought it just came naturally in the coca root. I'm not joking. Three Coke Zeros is one cup of coffee? That's what I'm saying. Even if you get addicted to caffeine off Coke Zeros, like, you, you're doing, my, in my personal, you should move to the harder stuff. You should start drinking cold brew. Because I don't believe that you're addicted to caffeine unless I come over to your house and I see you drinking two Coke Zeros an hour. Like, that's, that's the kind of dose you need to trigger the response in your body, bro. Don't you drink cold brew? Yeah. I'm addicted to caffeine. It's got nothing to do with the Coke Zero. If I didn't have a coffee at 5.50 in the morning, yeah, I'd be fucking confused and my nose would be running. I'd have a headache. One Coke Zero, two Coke Zeros, five Coke Zeros. It makes no difference. The Coke Zero has, has none caffeine. It has negligible caffeine. Let's put it that way. If you, if you took the coffee out of my daily routine and I only have one, 
it would, I would not be feeling amazing. I would be feeling not normal, at least. If you, I mean, because we're doing it right now. You take the Coke Zeros out, I, I feel exactly the same. This is like, you're, you're standing next to like the Trinity test of the nuclear bomb. And then someone is like, oh, you should really put like the lead shield over your abdomen when you go in for an x-ray. I'm like, brother, the, the rent gens that I received from Oppie himself have rendered the rent gens I received from this x-ray completely moot. I'm fucked. <laughs> I was standing next to the bomb. I used to also be a two coffee a day, Andy. I'm just a one coffee a day guy now, though. Sometimes, well, it hasn't been probably like eight months since the last time I went to coffee. Well, no, maybe it was like two months, but then it was six months before that. But anyway, <clears throat> the, I always, I, I, I get myself into this cope situation where I'm like, um, oh, I'm a little tired. Maybe I'll have a, uh, maybe I'll have a, an afternoon coffee. And I have like a third of a cup of coffee at 2 p.m., and then my brain is like, you know, fucking 2000s era movie where someone shoots up for the first time. It's like everything starts going like 2x speed and my heart rate is... And then it's like an x-ray of my veins like narrowing and my heart going... Patum, 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 patum. And then my gut is like... Brrr. It's the Cokes. No disrespect. You don't know what you're talking about. It's not the Cokes, man. The Cokes are not making up the caffeine addiction. If anything, by the way, official name, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm willing to say this because you're using ad hominem attacks against me and one good turn deserves another. If you are affected by the caffeine in Coke, you're weak. Or you're drinking too much Coke a day. It doesn't make you a bad person. I'm just making an observation. Like if you have to buy caffeine-free Coke and you don't have like a medical grade uh, uh, allergy to caffeine, my two cents, anytime I see one of those gold cans is I'm like, you got to drink less Diet Coke, man. My mom drinks eight cans a day. That's not my problem. No disrespect. You're letting your childhood trauma affect how you feel about a perfectly sane individual such as myself. You aren't sane. I'm the only sane one here as far as I'm concerned. I'm community center maxing. I'm community maxing in general. I'm at the library. I'm pulling weeds. I'm going down to the, the local hardware store and I'm asking, hey, do you guys have any extendable ladders? He says, yeah, follow me into this weird room in the basement. I go down to the room in the basement. There's lots of ladders hanging from the ceiling. I say, how long is this one? He says, looks to be about eight feet. I say, when it extends, how much does it extend to? He says, they usually extend their length plus another half. So I go, this thing goes up to 12 feet. Okay. Then his coworker comes out and says, I, I couldn't help but overhear you guys. They actually extend to 2x their length. And he says, oh, okay, so 16 feet, that'll get the job done. I say, that'll definitely get the job done. They say, do you need help loading it into your car? I say, don't even worry about it. I'm parked right outside. You're going to tell me that I'm not insane? This game is getting too punishing. There really should be checkpoints or something. Let me guess. You try to limit yourself to one Coke Zero a day so the caffeine doesn't make you jittery. Hey, NL, you see the piggyback ride boner tweet? Yep. I, I did think it was crazy, like the dude posted the measurements of his phallus at the end of the tweet, or at the end of the Reddit post, and I was like, I, like, I'll just be real with you. I got a rough idea of my length. I've never measured my girth, so I don't have like an anchor for how big like his measurements are, but like, is it normal that his girth is like the same as his length? Wouldn't this shit be like a rectangle? Or the, like a cube or something? Like, like it was like 5.3 inches long, 5 inches girth. And I was like, that seems... I'm, I, it's not my business, but that seems thick, man. Circumference, not diameter. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like a, you know, 2 pi r or whatever. But, like, is that normal? Someone, someone give me... I'm not saying measure yourself and tell me. That's fucking weird. But, like, is there, like, a paper from a doctor that's, like, what's the usual length to girth ratio? Is it, if it's one-to-one, -one, then I don't know. Maybe I got to measure myself and see if I'm one-to-one. -one. But I got to tell you, I don't think there's any shot this motherfucker's two inches around. That would be huge. You're snitching on yourself? No, no, no. It's the internet classic. You make jokes about how your dick is small. Then when you're in the change room at the gym, boom. Average size penis. We love our average dicks, don't we, folks? I don't know. Except when I get too sick, the 
the head turns gray. Confirm. It happens. It's something to do with uh, blood hypoxia, man. Not this again. <laughs> the head is soaring. Listen, I know people think that I bring this up to be gross. I don't bring it up to be gross. I bring it up because so many people think it's gross that we don't get to talk about the human body with the kind of openness that we should be able to talk about it. This motherfucker is weird, man. Sometimes you wake up, like I'm, you already know if you're a longtime viewer, I'm circumcised. It's against my will, but I'm like, I don't harbor any resent. I'm not Corey. I'm not harboring resent over it. I'm not making it like part of my identity. No disrespect. It's, he's entitled to. They shouldn't have done it, man. But it's done and it worked out okay for me. I'm not, it's, you know, I, w I wouldn't pass that trauma onwards. You know, I would leave that up to the, the person in question. But either way, so the head is like on display. Most of the time I wake up, you know, I don't even know what color you would call it. Somewhere between like a, a, a light pink and a light purple. That's, how, that's like my alarm system. When I see that, I'm like, I must be feeling okay today. Sometimes you wake up and the color's a little bit off and you're like, what's going on with this thing, man? I gotta go see the doctor. You got me checking right now? What? You can't help but check, man. It's like a mood ring, that's what I'm saying. Mine's green. I think you gotta get that checked out. You are a, you're a zombie. You said gray? That's when I was sick, man. I know it's not normal. That's why I was trying, I've been talking about this with Kate. I gotta like exercise this trauma somehow. I go in the chat and I'm like, I'm really sick today. People are like, sure. They hit me with like the, the smug frog emote. Yeah. You think you're sick. I have the sniffles. Plus the boomers destroyed the housing market. And then I'm like, the head of my penis has turned gray, which is not normal. That's how sick I am. And then they're like, hey, why would you say that? Why is it gray? I don't know. I'm not a urologist. And it's not gray. It's back to the, the you know, it's normal pinkish hue. It's got some color to its cheeks again. But it was gray for like, you know, at least the morning. It's not necrosis. It smelled normal. It fucking smelled good. I probably just slept on my tummy or something like that. TMI, but keep going. I don't have any shame over like, I mean, the human body. It's just the human body, man. Obviously, if somebody invented it, they would fix a lot of the problems, but it's like a complicated biological system. It's messy. I'm in hell. How can you hate AI, but also hate human beings? Like you gotta pick a side. The war is coming. I'm taking the side of flesh, okay? Yeah, there's goo and fucking enzymes and shit like that. And sometimes it's a little bit messy and there's like piss and shit. But at least it's real, man. There's spirit in it. If you're in your 30s or your late 20s, when TikTok has you typing ew in all fucking cringe caps in chat, you're not going to make it. You got it. You got a very short amount of time. You got to nut up and become an adult. It's happening. It's going to happen to you, too. What are you going to do? You, you, the head of your penis is going to change color. You're going to go to the doctor. Hmm. My wee-wee has a troubling sign. Doctor's gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And what cartoon character is that on your shirt? They're gonna, they're gonna ask you to put it in terms that they can understand. They're gonna be like, why are you being so weird about it? It's your body. You gotta get over it, man. You gotta have some serious conversations here. If you're 20 years old and you're like, ooh, pee pee talk, I get it. Like, you're trying to like cling to the childhood that only recently left you. But if you're like 35 and you're like, this talk is disgusting, you honestly have to grow up. It's like, I I'm going off, man. I used to think the most cringe thing about millennials, a generation that I'm like smack dab in the middle of and thus have like, I mean, I've, I've got the resentment, but I also embody their traits, right? Because I grew up in the same Petri dish. I used to think the most cringe aspect of, you know, a stereotypical millennial was like, undying love for like Harry Potter. But now I'm realizing like, there's been like two roads diversion of wood. Why are there so many people my age that are still trying to be like 12 years old? You had your chance, bro. We got new 12 year olds that need to like have a childhood and shit. Stop buying all the Pokemon cards, dude. The 12 year olds need the Pokemon cards at MSRP. They can't be buying that shit from fucking channelfireball.com. That's expensive, bro. Is there anything in this game that says you have to push the boulder up the hill? Honestly, everyone in chat is gonna hate that you said that, but that's the first insightful comment I've read all day. 
that's fucking, that's a great little thing to ponder. This is how I know that if you wanted to punish Sisyphus, you would take the rock away. Bro saw a ramp and a rock, and he said, I know exactly what I must do. He could have just walked up the, the fucking hill, man, to fetch a pail of water. This is punishment? It's not punished. This is, this is fun. I know that you think I'm misrepresenting my position to put on airs for the purposes of humor. I have been known to do that from time to time, though I resent having to resort to that base level of comedy. I think if I was working a normal job, I would rather come home and play this than play League of Legends. There, I'd rather play Balatro, probably, but I would definitely rather come home and play this versus League of Legends. That's not even up for discussion. That's not saying much. It's the most popular game in Earth's history. League is mass hysteria. Kate, are you still here? Kate is a League player. I'm, I, I'm, I'm done apologizing for merely expressing my opinion. I have no control over the power of policy and stuff like that. I got no real power, okay? I've just got a little soft cultural influence. I don't think they designed it like this. But I do think League of Legends is a, is a non-negligible factor in uh, the continued erosion of society that has been emblematic of, I would say, about 2010 till 2024. It's not the biggest element of it, for sure. It's just one more domino in the chain. But like, I don't see how you could play that for 2,000 hours and then walk outside and believe that your fellow man is like trying to do their best for themselves and for society. Like, doesn't it irreparably harm your worldview? Like, when you walk outside, you... First time you walk outside, you might be like, oh, this sun is nice. But like after five years of playing that game as your predominant game, there's no way you walk outside and you're like, oh, look, I'm out here with my fellow man. You're probably like, fuck this dude. Fuck this dude. Fuck you. I hate you. Your dentist probably plays league. None of my business because the hygienist does all the work anyway. But I do have a friend who's a dentist and it's even worse. He plays Hearthstone. So like I, I'm just saying, you know, we're, we're, you got to pick your poison, I guess, but... In 2024? Yeah, in 2024. I know, it's crazy. You know, the same way, I, I can tell you this because I'm bridging the gap between the 35-year-old normies and the 35-year-old Twitch citizens. The same way people make a joke that, like, as a man, you kind of just get frozen in a year when it comes to, like, your music tastes. Like, for me, it's probably, like, 2009 or 2010. The same thing happens to normies when it comes to video games. Like, if you ever... Talk to, it comes up for me all the time because like I meet other dads who are like my age and they play video games and they're like, what do you play? And I'm like, here's the ultimate test. I'm like, I play a lot of indie games. Like I used to play a lot of this game called The Binding of Isaac and 95% uh, of the time I get the Ozempic stare. Like they're just, they, were, they thought I was going to say Call of Duty or something like that. And then they're like, oh, I game too. And then it's always, and I don't think this is a bad thing at all because they're having fun. But it's always like I buy like Madden every year or NHL every year or I play like the new Call of Duty every year. And they play like, uh, like an hour a week. And, and that's okay. It's actually, I think it's aspirational. I think it's better than okay. Because like gaming isn't really like a hobby for them. It's like the same way you might, keep like a piece of chocolate in your pantry and be like, I've had a rough day. I'm going to have some chocolate. They're like, oh, I had a lot of like stress today. I'm going to play like <laughs> one level of the Call of Duty campaign. I'm like, that's the way it's supposed to be, man. They're why games are ass. They're definitely not because they buy like one game a year and no DLC. They buy the same game every year. Look, you see how he, there's a league player right there. I made up a person and you already hate him. And then you got people like, the elites are trying to pit us against each other. You fucking were born pitted, bro. I made this motherfucker up. And you hate his ass. Cause, why? Because he plays Call of Duty? He spends his $60 a year in gaming on Call of Duty? And you spend it on fucking five pulls in Genshin Impact? Aren't we also making up the League guy? Well, I like, it's not a real guy. But many people who play League will tell you that they are that person. Just because I don't know who it is. 
like I can't put a name to them, that doesn't mean they don't exist. Like, I don't know any fucking members of the Trudeau cabinet in the House of Commons, but that doesn't mean those motherfuckers don't exist. They're in, they're there in Ottawa. I don't know, like 80 days a year or whatever, doing their best. Hold, 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 hold. No. Deserve for the straw man. All I'm asking you to do is, is respect your fellow man. The fact that you feel so aggressive about that, I mean, I think it says something more about you. But I don't blame you. I don't know what I blame, honestly. At some point, I blame you. When someone's like an asshole, I'm not saying you are being an asshole. When someone's an asshole and they're like, look at the world around me. Can you blame me for being an asshole? I'm like, how old are you? You're 21? I can't blame you. You're still working this shit out. But when you're, if I look at your Twitter profile and you're like, G proud Gen X, born 1979, I'm like, I blame you. I don't expect you to save the world, but you could, you know, maybe like work on the immediate environment surrounding you that's poisoning your mental. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta start, you know, taking a little bit of responsibility. You gotta at least, you, you, listen, if the world's fucked, you're not making it any better by being mean to people. You might make it a little bit better by being nice to people. You know, it's not going to get public health care passed or anything like that. But, you know, you, 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 you make a mistake when you're driving. Instead of honking at the dude and giving him the finger, you give him like a, you know, like a knowing nod. That's like everybody makes mistakes. That guy's less stressed out. He doesn't get into a horrific fatal car accident on the way home. Leave his family without a, a breadwinner and then like the kid grows up to be like a Twitch streamer or something like that. Like you've, you've just from that one action, the butterfly effect, you've saved. What's our viewer count right now? I'm going to guess like 9,200 people from being damned. 13,000? What the fuck? For Sisyphus? All Sisyphus needed was a damn ring light, man. <laughs> oh, I'm cold. I still got a fucking pop-up in... Windows today advertising to me a game capture service for while I was playing Isaac. Dude, I was getting fucking pissed. I was watching the new Fallout show and I was getting ads for it. There were ads before the show aired. I'm like, oh yeah, doing? that's. The I'm name. paying like twenty what million dollars fuck, a year man? for this shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ads. Ryan, are you okay? Is it really? Is I, it really hit, I hit play and this is fucking the klaxons are going off, man. Oh, yeah. oh this is the oh, yeah. intro. Yeah, they decided the game needed a very annoying intro. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen I this he either. I threw yet. up, bro. I got worried. Hello? Oh, uh, he, didn't even, he didn't even need to do that job. I, did anyone else hear a vent go off? <laughs> no. Among Us. Oh, what did they? So what did they? Yeah. I don't think there's anywhere else to go up here unless you get a key. <laughs> What's the kitchen okay. nightmares noise? No. They might have been what did they? Oh, oh, I am what full. Did they, what did they? Huh. Uh, no, is it mirror the footsteps out of me? I think he's right. I think I got my shit turned up too high. I hear something. I hear something. You hear that? You hear that shit? My toes curled. My toes curled in. I have not unclenched them yet. I'm unclenching them right now. Did you hear that? Someone was doing the hot stepper, man. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh, this looks so familiar. Yup. Yep. Bro, for gore, dude. I for gore. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> What's up with this guy? Nothing? Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. I, I'll be asking you if you'll come. I'll be waiting in there, dude. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. Relax. I can't see shit, man. Yeah, it's dark as hell in here. Anyone oh, what the hell was light? that, man? What is anybody that? Use, anybody know how to use the light switch, the light box thing? What? The, the, oh, the I have a clock now. You hear that? You can have it, you can have it, you can have it, you can have it. What happened? I don't know, man! You guys okay? He angered the bug! Oh, Who died? 
What, what those legs, man? Hey. Why? Huh? What is that? Uh, Apollo, did you just die? Did you hear something going? I, I think it was Apollo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that Ryan making that sound? Did you hear something going? Ooh. What's going on, man? I don't know, man. I didn't hear nothing going on. You don't hear. <laughs> you don't hear the didgeridoo, man? The fuck out of here, man. Oh, he farted. I don't know how to write oh, that be down. Be careful jumping off early on this one. Whoa! Oh, this wasn't here yeah, Ryan almost died. Oh! I was just getting, like, stuttered. Oh, is this a wobbly bridge, though? I ain't, I ain't going on that bridge. Wait, is this a map with the- Oh! oh come Whoa! On. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a Did that kill somebody? Oh, it, he's chilling, he's chilling. I'm on okay. the rubble! I'm on the rubble! <laughs> They were saying some shit. They were talking. They were conspiring against me. I knew it. I heard it. Look, 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 look. Oh! oh it did. Shit. It did scare me Jesus a little bit. Christ. It did scare oh, me a little God. bit. <laughs> oh, and then okay. And who, whose bright idea was it to put this piece of loot in the first room? Who put okay, this down so here? Come on. No, Be honest. You know what's funny is that egg doesn't it doesn't do that every time. That oh really? Chance. What yeah. what happens? <laughs> my my I was gonna drop it and it makes a funny noise and I you, you were gonna like that so I, I was gonna give it to you board. so you could drop it a bunch and then it was gonna explode on you but it did it immediately. Oh man that was spooky. Wee. What the hell is going on, man? Bro, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> like, I was gonna watch Dune tonight, but my god, man, that's too much! Dude, I gotta get Corey's loot one second. Dude, really? What? <laughs> ah! What did I even get, man? Yellow barrel. Oh Come my in. god, the, the acoustics! Nice, right? It's, it's so really good! Nice. <laughs> Great sound. I'm Such a good that, sound. That Peter Griffin pack, bro. Huh? Now we have to sell. I remember uh, selling. Uh, um, uh, so I don't remember. I We fucking with it all. I have no <laughs> idea what you're doing. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh, I was blessing the rains down in Africa, dude. Oh, song. he was blessing the rains. Oh, that, that was the. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel bad that I let I let Weezer ruin that song for me. <laughs> oh, they they ruined it. For That's me. not your fault, <laughs> Trevor. <bro. laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't let Weezer have that much power over me. So right? Saying, you know. That's why the explosion. Um. There was a tweet of a shoegaze like music list for like cha alignment chart. Guess who was on there? Weezer. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> that's that's chaotic evil. You ever hear the song Only in Dreams? Yes. No. You should listen to it. It's a good song. Is that the one they made for the TV commercial? Yeah, it's, it's a great Excuse song. me, Only it's in Dreams is the closer on the Blue album. That's a that's a classic. It is, it is. Oh. Right, yeah, but I'm the, I'm the, one of those people that have only listened to uh, What's with these homies <laughs> dissing my girl. It's that record. What? Same record as that song. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening to it right now. It's eight minutes long, man. No wonder you like it. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, dead. it's, ah! it's not a known. A shoegazy. No, I say uh, one of I'm my glad, favorite uh, songs is like an hour long. I fuck I'm, with long music. What a uh, blood chorus! I dissed my homie's girl. Am I the asshole? Uh, uh, Probably. Like Info. Ah, uh, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Her tongue is like twisted, I, like I vaguely and that's all I'm gonna say about that. No, I've got you. Ready? It is yeah. um, it is um, absolute to go, absolute go. 
Absolute. Okay. That's the word absolute and go, but it's in one. What year is it from? <clears throat> I'll tell you. A, tell me. Um. Um. Oh. Uh. Make Chip listen oh. to the smoker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Chip listen to the Now I'm, I'm, after Chip's impression of Weezer, I'm just picturing Louis Armstrong singing for fucking Weezer now. <laughs> What's with these home fees? <laughs> it's, it's from 1996. Really 96, what damn. It's peak. It's I was gonna say, good. I haven't heard of it. Maybe it's kind of recent. I don't know how I missed that one. No, Dude, no. hear me it's, out. It's from an album with two songs. <laughs> damn. There should be a mod that adds punching but no friendly fire damage so when we're traveling we could just start beating the shit out of each other yeah. and then when yeah you can imagine if we just started throwing hands i will say there, there was a mod added where you could shove people <laughs> oh <laughs> did anyone did anyone see the video of the two big burly guys in a mud pit like a swamp so running it up to their chest just punching no. the shit out of each other Oh, can't they, were like, they were like half a foot from each other, just in mud with gloves, like... Go, go, okay, go, 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 go. Dilemma. Don't fucking come across this, you stupid fuck. Wow, the bees! We're burning daylight, guys. Uh, I'm just a creep. I know, you actually like that song. I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is... In here. <laughs> we play that song like seven times in my car when we were No way, yeah. that's yeah, so bro, sad. By the end of it, you were going, I'm just a creep, I'm just a creep, I'm a weirdo. Mm -hmm. Can we play nothing uh, but creep and Bjork? That was like the two. Like, oh, kind of bro, Bjork, man, that's that's a classic right there. She's got some, she's got some meters. I gotta tell you. Dude, yeah, I gotta agree on Bjork. I will say, I feel like becoming an adult is. Uh, Committing that the Benz is the best Radiohead record, bro. Come on, in rainbows. No man, the Benz. I'm telling you, it's got it's a it's a perfect rock. Benz is good. Yeah, you do it to yourself. You do fake plastic trees and all that. But come on, in rainbows, brother. Get eaten by the worms and weird fucking fishes, man. What the heck? Did you hear like a little a little fucking thing? Nasty Benny Jesserits. Did you hear a little fucking? Yeah, that, that, fuck, yeah, that, that hey, 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 I saw you, I saw you. He vented, Ghibli vented. Why doesn't it blow up, man? <laughs> yes! I guess, do they all have, do they all have, like, effects? Different effects, maybe? Oh, you get back here, you see who, he fucked Whee! up, he fucked up. There's, a, there's a more shit this way. Wait, keep talking, oh. Justin, keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah, I think he's down. It's, it's, it's down, down there for yeah, you in get that get corner. Downstairs. Oh, hey! I just left the door. You motherfucker! Hello. Do you see how? Oh! Do you see how rare this shit is? Are you guys playing dodgeball? Dude, it, dude, it's like a when you put a boiled egg in vinegar and it gets bouncy. <laughs> oh! What the hell about your turn? <laughs> Wait, yeah, let's get in the circle and play and play. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, that didn't. was right on my legs, dude! Yeah, okay. Oh. Just a bunch of fully grown men playing catch, man. What's better than this? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is the black fucking Wow! Wow! Get out of this is chilling. What the hell is that? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I hate this. I'm in your head, dude. I want one. He's humping your head, bro. Oh, the bees, the bees, the bees, the bees. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Watch out. They're little creeps. They're little creeps. Ooh, they're fucking crazy. There's one right there, too. He's my friend. Money, money. Dude, he's He's pecking your head, bro. Hey, there's a dead one! What is that? He's done, he's done. Get out of here. Get, 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 get out of here. There's fucking pandemonium <laughs> out here. Bro, did you guys see the bracken right behind you? No! Yeah, that was so funny. I heard it. What the? Jump, man! 
God damn, dude, right when the egg exploded, the brat was right behind you guys. <laughs> yeah, that was so that good. Man. We're just a bunch of fully grown men playing catch, man. What's better than this? Oh, fuck! Oh! <laughs> okay, guys. Dude, your, everyone your stamina really uh, stinks. It was in the contract of your job at Daily Cock and Spirit. Oh. Me first, me first, oh, me first. Me first. Me first. He's going crazy. He's my buddy. Hey, come up. Come up. Oh, there oh, he goes. He's gone? He's my friend. Oh. Fuck off, freak. Pause, you pause, dumb dog, you pause. Okay. Hey, you coming with us, bro? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they killed the cock inspector! We did not, they did I not hired him. I hired him before my cock got inspected. I don't even know my cock was weird. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I guess HR did not like the um, <laughs> cock inspection bit. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You want the rubber ducky? You want the rubber ducky? Get him. Actually, you can't have the rubber ducky. It's worth $90. You can't have that. Bro, he's, gonna, he's have gonna be pissed! Oh, he took it, he took it. I gave so him the remote. If we had shovels, we could follow him. Oh, we should just take his shit and leave, man. But like, we could- OHHHHH! Oh! Oh! He's got a gun! <laughs> he's got a gun! <laughs> I kinda wanna take his bottles and his run, man. Leave it to me. Relax, I'll handle it. Oh, oh fuck. I'm taking his remote, then. Oh, fuck. Get the bottles, but right yeah! Wow! wow. <laughs> hey. What the fuck? It happened at the exact same time, bro. What the hey. fuck? That scared the shit out of me. Ryan came out on a bird like dive bomb me, man. Oh, oh, so good. This making it a lot of sound. Oh. Make such fun little noises. Dude, they still got the I sauce. Have a plan, guys. They still got oh, the sauce. There's another one over there. I want it. Yeah, go go get him. See if he wants to hang out with you. Oh, what God, the hell is so that, man? Oh my God, there's so many. You, but don't uh, don't move. They'll get you. Wait, is what? Wait a minute. Wait, but like, huh? No. Uh oh. How many do I have on me, bro? <laughs> you got like three or four, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go. What the hell is this little freak? <laughs> oh no! Oh no, there's a fucking Oh, that's some no, good stuff, so man. Back. That, it's so that. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking in the spider web. So Great song. Uh. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, I want to do a science experiment with this. Oh, the one. No! no. <laughs> Bro, bro, bro. Are you sure? Put, put the whoopee cushion under it. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh, All right. Really no. missed opportunity there. <laughs> what? How'd you lose? It's like you got fucking punched. <laughs> you got like upper and sent backwards. Oh, it's a landmine. Yeah. There's nowhere to go, it's all closed. Huh. Oh, I do it actually? 
I might have to go to the ship. No. You guys got any flashlights? It's very steamy in that door. What? Oh, hi. I think I got smushed, man. Dude, oh, there's like right a there. demon speaking in your ear. <laughs> you heard that? Oh, shit. All sorts of stuff here. <laughs> He's been talking to me in my sleep, too. I'm just a guy. We're like the kid from that uh, Blind Melon music video. I know what you're saying. No rain. Hang on, guys. I'm RPing. Bro, why don't they fucking come in here? I was gonna talk like a Dark Souls NPC and then put on the mask. Hello? So bright. So beautiful. Oh, he's putting it on, you fucking stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone then. It's all for naught. <laughs> so bright. So beautiful. Oh, he's putting it on, you fucking stupid fuck. Trust that shit, dude. Look at him. He probably, oh, he's probably he's Whoa, what the, what the hell is that? What the hell is that, man? He seems to be chasing. He's ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what's he doing? What's he doing? He's sweeping up. He's cleaning. I think he farted. He's got like a blob. Fishing. Get on the table. Get on the table. Who Don't said? Who, who said Tiger Woods That's hair? That's rude, man. They made this shit come for you. Yeah. Hey. He's getting her clean with it. He just he's just sleeping. Get the fish over the bro. This would be a great time for my masked version to come in. I don't think, I don't he's, think he's aggressive. Show. I think he just lives here. With that technique, you know he gets paid by the hour. Here, so true. We're the Bro probably works, works for the government, am I right? Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, I, I know, I know. Down yeah. behind right the here. stairs. Oh, bug on me, bug on me. Did you hear that? Fucking Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> How do they know it's me, man? The exit? That ain't Corey. Oh, that is a mask. <laughs> what are you gonna get? <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> uh, that was the new monster? What was it doing? Is Chibli dead too? Oh, oh hell no. We saw, we, saw, we saw like a butler inside. A butler? Oh, what yeah. did he do? He's a big guy oh, with a blobfish man. face. I don't know, he was sweeping the floor. He wouldn't do anything. Oh. Ryan put the mask on. I, I did not Ryan put the mask. I had no choice. Was that was the RP. Uh, it did get two people killed, so that was some that was some strong RP. Yes. Ryan. Hello. Yeah. Where you, you at? To get to the front. I'm trying to get to the front, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to our voice. Okay, one second. He put the, he put the thing away. He put the broom away. He put the broom away. Oh, he's got a knife! He's got a knife, Corey! Corey, he's got a knife! <laughs> I don't see any knife. No, he got, no, no, he had a knife, man, he had a knife. I think you're losing your shit. Corey, no, 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 no. Watch this, brother. <laughs> no, 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 he had a knife, man. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh,
no, no, no. Here. Dude, the, the egg's gone. The egg's gone. Where'd the egg no, go? Okay, right here. Okay. No, no, Corey, Corey, come with me. Ryan, Ryan, stay here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Corey, come with me. Come with me. Corey, come with me. Okay. Ryan, stay there. Oh, you think okay. it's like when he's alone? Ryan? Ryan? Yo, he put the he put the fucking thing away, bro. He put the piece away. He put the piece chains at me, dude. He's chill. He's chill again. He's, he took my shit. He's got a knife. <laughs> he's fucking. He's chill now. Oh, he's, he's, chill. Room, he's chill. Man. He's chill. Oh, he's chill. Dude. <laughs> okay, we fight. We figured out the mechanic. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that's cool. Though. I like that. You got you got my fucking egg, bro. Yeah, I got yeah, the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Stop with the bell, you <laughs> It's the greatest game ever made, man. Oh, wait, Ryan, you haven't heard this yet. What the hell is that? Uh, it's a new enemy. It's 11 p.m.? We gotta be careful, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. Okay, okay. No, 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 don't go, don't go, don't go. I'm gonna have to wait for it to stop, I think. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I don't think they care about that. Wait, wait. It's Oh my <laughs> god, that's <laughs> so... Fucking like wolf, like dog thing. There was like a pack of them, bro. I heard a bunch of bells. A pack of dogs showed up. Oh, oh my god. My god. We're at the entrance. What the fuck? Hey, what the fuck was that? Big bell. Oh my god, can we play a song? Oh my god, Justin. Yeah. Let's hide. Ryan wasn't there, bro. If we have Ryan, stop and playing the bells. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let's wait like off to the side up here. Stop with the bells, you freaks! It's like in the horror movies when they're, it's like in Scooby-Doo that I'm making it up like, oh, and then the monster's around the corner, and then there was actually a fucking monster around the corner. Dude, my head is fucking killing me from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's fucking eclipsed again, man. I want to go to Titan to get money, but, you know, fuck, I'll just go to, I'll just, what's the, the quota? 600? We can do that on offense. <clears throat> Wait, Chibli, come over here for a second? You have to say, like, uh, the... It's too late. You just got a whoopie, brother. Oh, oh man. 
What do you think they're talking about? Oh, you're whooping them, dude. You're gonna whoop them, dude. Get ready. Get oh, ready. Great. Get ready. Ten out of ten. Any second now. Any <laughs> second now. Whoops. Hey. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man, you got you. You got you. You got you. Did you whoopie them? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoopie yeah. so hard. Yeah. Alright, well. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Or jump higher, man. I'm not gonna be part of your system. I threw it on the ground. You must think I'm a joke. Big bolt. That's worse. Ah! 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 I'm okay. <laughs> we need some damn flashlights, bro. Where are you? If I knew, I wouldn't be here, bro. I guess I could always jump off. That's always an option. You know what they say, it's the brave guy's way out. Well, no, never mind. We'll, we'll tough it out one second here. <laughs> they can't do anything to get me out of here? They can't, we need a teleporter or something, man. I'm not supposed to be out of here by myself after dark. Yeah. <laughs> that was so scary, yeah, man. I, I wanted to catch back got, up got, on the stream to got, see. You're okay? <laughs> what happened to him? Bro ran into a dead end as he was talking and just went and got gunned down. He's right. He's right. The Americaners when they call Reagan Bogan Struzel Rainbow Sprinkles. Rainbow Sprinkles. Uh... Wait, what? Did anyone else have that cut off like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did. Americaners when they come. Oh, you didn't when they come. <laughs> Do you want me to repeat it? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I've been trying to branch out into uh, German memes. We're here in a serious problem. Have you hit them with uh, my knacked photos? I'm pro. That is what started it. <laughs> that's what started it. <laughs> My next photos in uh, profile. Dick in bio. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen the uh, German introduction of Lickitung on Pokemon? I have not. Justin, Justin, Justin. Wee. It's like a slide whistle, bro. And they just think that Orbe has to be slower. Americaners when they call Regenbogen Struzel rainbow sprinkles. They don't oh, like I it. See. You're, it doing is, a, you're doing it backwards? This is right. an inverted German meme. 
Uh, what did they call a schmetterling? A butterfly? Yes, exactly. Oh, what's that? I forget what they call a ballpoint pen. It's got a funny name, too. Thing. Oh, there he is. It's a bummer. Hey! The fuck was that? The bumper, bro. No, no, no. There was something other. There, there was aim punch. I don't know where home is. Oh, no. man I thought like when Corey oh, was right running right at me it was like in slow motion and then like when the thumper got there he was in slow motion minor impression of an Americaner talking about Schmetterling a butterfly <laughs> so I was, uh, I was playing Geoguessr and I was somewhere in Norway maybe I don't know but they had a sign on a building said, uh, welcome, bitch. And I think that's so often still. You know, in really Swedish, apparently. like, fart means speed or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so, like, there's all these signs that are, like, you know, slow fart, like, das farten spiel and stuff like that. Oh, no, it means exit. Yeah, I, so, do you, <laughs> do you know why I pulled you over today? Yeah, well, why? Why? Oh, you were farting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a friend of it's mine was out there and took a picture with a bunch of fart signs. Oh, it made me very man. happy. Man. Yeah, what the heck? Yo, there's oh, spray paint on the roof of the the roof of the ship. For real? What? Yeah, dude. There's shit written on the top. Oh the top yeah, let, let me guess. It says fucking gullible on the ceiling. Uh huh. It says gullible on the ceiling. Well, I don't see it. And then when you look up at the ceiling, somebody pulls your pants and underpants down at the same time. Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they they suck you off. And they, 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 they yell, <laughs> "We're sucking dick!" <laughs> yeah, you you come immediately, and then they roast you for it. Mine an impression, the Americaner. We're sucking dick. We're hiring. I'm telling you, this joke is gonna hit, man. We're one one more swing of the pickaxe away from Pater. It's gonna, it's gonna go viral in Germany, man. So this is a this is a new moon. I don't think any of us have ever seen this moon. Which one? Embryon. I thought we came to this one. Big bowl. Ah, big, big bolts. Big bolts. Big bolts. This will be funny. So close to me. Yeah. Ooh, oh, fucker, look what you did. Look what you fucking did. Look what you did. Who did that? Who did that? You mother. Look at this. I just found this at the door. I walked out. You did this. You did this. No, not today. We gotta fight back. Go! <laughs> That's not what I expected, man. Holy cow, dude! Chill! Chill! Oh my god, you're covered in lava, dude! <laughs> it just, it just stopped and shot on 
No, man, Chimley was just out there. He's got clobbered, bro. Feel so close to me right now. Feel no, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bro, we gotta go to the fire escape, man. The fire escape is this way. All right, let's go. I don't have shit though. I got some good. No, watch out for us. There's a spike. There's a spike thing here. What is that? What does that mean? Well, you're stealing, like, like, there's like a thwomp. You gotta walk left. Oh, okay. Hug the yeah. And they just dropped in reinforcements, bro. Whoa! Uh -huh. Are what? you an angel? <laughs> How do you say angel in German? Are you you know you're walking towards him, right? I'm chilling. Corey, you okay? Guys, they're attacking the ship. You guys okay? Wow! <laughs> Lock in. I just need to lock in. <laughs> I'll take care now. <laughs> this is how OJ felt when he went back to LA, man. Cause like the real killer could have been anybody. I feel like I'm in a Black Mirror episode right now, man. Cut that loud mess out! <laughs> What is this baby man? What is this? Yeah. Yeah, hit the power core. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, Jesus that Christ. went. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That went crazy. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, man. That was, Holy that was sick, dude. He dropped the bell on the ground. Oh. Yeah. I heard you the belt, then I saw a robot just step on you, then oh. shoot the ground. <laughs> Another robot yeah. landed on you, like, it was so good. Oh. I'm placing a bet on myself. I'm, uh, I'm packed full of loot, and I'm gonna go try to bring it back. Good idea. Uh, Hello? Hello. Oh! Justin, if you're watching, I didn't know you were going that way, or I would have warned you. Oh, I found a bunch of shit. If you, if I'd known you were going that way, I would have I would have warned you. I thought you were somewhere else in the building. Hello, Hello Chibli. Hello. I found a bunch of loot. Congrats. I need help with this, dog. My hands are full, man. My hands are full. One sec, I got something important here. Just come to me. Ah! You're alive? I think you're dead. Brian? See what's happened. Boom! Oh, <laughs> fuck, you scared me so bad. I blew the horn, bro. Uh, content. Whoops. Your actual piece of shit. Hi. 
Third time's a charm. I lived a bitch. Okay, okay, go <laughs> <clears throat> That was fucked up, man. <laughs> Game's good, bro. We're good again. Oh, man. Oh, you were so close. Was I? <laughs> I had no oh, idea were, where I was, man. You, you went really far away from oh, the ship. Oh, no. It was yeah. behind you. <laughs> it you was the wrong way. Yeah. Man, Lethal came back heavy. Yo, dude, dude the robots oh. are already working, man. Last one there is a rotten egg. Oh wow. Hey! For the legs for extra points. Badoink. I did, I did. Not all awake, just some of them. Well, there's definitely one there that's awake. Oh yeah, he's Maybe riding. one of them can be friend. Like that guy doesn't look that menacing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty menacing. Seems chill. Oh shit, I'm into the moon, dude. Yeah, they need to go. No, I, I'm out of stamina. I can't get up. Go, 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 go. Shooting, they're shooting. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I did rocket jump. No, fuck. I use lottery pad. <laughs> Did he live? Or did, I think you knocked him down the pit, dude. Wow, you just saved my life. You blew me out of the way of the thing. There's also Wait, there's a key right here. There's a key right here. Oh, look at someone come grab this key, dude. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Teeth, man. <laughs> He's still yapping and everything. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball, dude. Well, okay. 
That's bad. All right, we're chilling. Stop sign. IT is hard enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no! No shot, not to above, not to above. <laughs> I was going crazy in there, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> what a game, dude. What a game. It's so bad. Dude. My goodness. Yeah, this is the greatest just... lethal company session I've ever yeah, been. Really they time. did it. They yeah. did it. Really good I was like a little worried, but like, come on. All timer session. Uh, can I tell you what I was trying to buy that never got in stock? Sure. Disco ball. Oh. Yeah, well, that was fun, boys. Yeah, GG. Yeah, that right, was good. Good game. A damn good pleasure. Games. Good games. Oh, fuck you too, Ryan. Yeah, wow. This guy doesn't want to say fucking GG. He doesn't want to say it. it was nice playing with you, my boys. He's just going to stand there like a fucking He's asshole. He's going to stand there like an asshole. Bro, you won't dude. believe it. We had the handyman over to take care of some stuff at the house. We had like a, a drippy oh, started streaming. Oh. A, a drippy faucet <laughs> outside. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, apparently the plumber was like, "Oh, by the way, you have an actual gas leak." <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, life, so much. life imitates art, man. It's true. Bro, imagine if they fix it though, and your streams get so boring. Dude, I'm gonna oh, lose man. it. I'm gonna <laughs> lose my magic. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the game last night? <laughs> the peloton, the sport, the PB start going to shit. Everything falls apart. The leak is outside. If anything, I'm the last crazy person. You walls. guys are going crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I was wondering why my fucking natural gas bill was so high. It's because I'm, scary, I'm, I'm fucking gassing so up the whole neighborhood, man. That's scary. Someone in your chat said he starts growing hair. My cough improves, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Americans win. Das return is imminent. We're so back. It's getting a lot of plus twos, guys. It's getting a lot of plus twos. You got to work the bit. I seriously think it could be the first crossover meme success in Germany and America. It is. I'm like writing it out right now and the quill is on fire. Americaners. Meine impression. Uf das Americaners. Speaking seit Regenbogen Strusel. Rainbow sprinkles. I got to work on my like my AI American voice. Rainbow. <clears throat> Rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles. Gas leak is fixed. Hey, did you guys see the game last night? I should, I should try that tomorrow. Channel the CNN reporter. So true. Let me get a slice of that pizza. What do you think was going to happen here? That I wasn't going to be hungry? That I wasn't going to take a slice? Take action regarding that individual. <laughs> the architect and the builder arrive calmly from their escalator with a sense of purpose. Oh no! The dive rocket launcher! Take action regarding that individual! I'll handle it. I am the angry pumpkin. <laughs> I did kind of feel like that in Lethal Company today. I was just going around causing problems. It felt good. It felt good. <laughs> anyway, see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. My God. I cannot believe you said maybe the gas leak turned Ryan's penis gray. What is going on? What do we care to confirm, ma'am? 
What the hell is wrong with you? I can't believe he checks the collar every morning. Bro, the dude pees every two seconds. It doesn't matter if he checks or not. He sees his own penis after freaking peeing to every two seconds. You know, during the weekend, I was playing. Well, let's say we were playing with our daughter together. You know, co-parenting. And then he says, oh, I'll be right back. I just need to go use the bathroom. And I said, oh, okay. And then we went downstairs. Then... He didn't come back up for like 30 minutes. And I was like, wow, that must have been a huge poop. He ain't coming back. And I was like, whatever, maybe, you know. Maybe it's like a big one. Maybe he needs his little time. After like 30, 40 minutes, mercy, please. he came up. And I said, that must have been a big poop. And then he said, well, I didn't poop. And I said, huh? Why did it take you 30, 40 minutes then? And he said, not gonna lie. I kind of like used the bathroom and um, was on my computer. And I was like, bro, what? He said, I'm gonna... And then, you know, whenever we're looking after our child together, when I have to use bathroom, I use the bathroom and I come back. And guess what? I don't, I don't use bathroom 10 times a day. I'm more like, I use maybe like three times a day. Morning, before bed, and one in the afternoon. And then um, my husband, on the other hand, he pees every two seconds. So when we are parenting together, I feel like half of the times, I'm just all by myself. Because he just goes, I gotta go pee. And then he comes back for 10 minutes, and then he goes, I gotta go pee again. And then <laughs> he's he's barely there, man. He's you gotta have some kind of like a urine bag attached to his urethrus <laughs> in his gray penis. When I went for Korea for a week, it was for my birthday, and I said, "Is it okay?" And you say, "Yeah." And then I missed you guys, so I Facetimed you, and then you guys both looked like fucked up so i was like oh my gosh is everything all right back home and then he's like yeah don't worry about it. it's all good and then after i come back he's like we were not we had a norovirus i don't know about you know i don't really look at ryan's penis it's not my business you know i don't check the color of it i never really realize the color of your ding dong can change that's my first time ever hearing it but, you know, I bet he knows his own thing. That's his own thing. But there was a really funny time when, um, I think Ryan was changing into swimsuit. But then, I kind of, like, on my side, side vision, I, I could see his ding-dong, even though he was wearing his underwear. Right? So I was like, what? That makes no sense. He's wearing the underwear, but I can see his ding dong. Like, how does that work? So I was like, my eyes must be all fucked up. So I turned and I looked and I was right. He had a huge hole that was basically <laughs> not covering anything. <laughs> It was, it was like a window of, like, you can see the whole thing. It wasn't just like a part of it. You can see the whole thing dangling, dangling there. And I went like, oh, what's wrong with you? And he said, what do you mean what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? And I said, what's wrong with your underwear? It's a huge window of hole. It's not like a little hole. It's, I can see the whole thing. And then Ryan was like, huh? And then he like looks down and he goes like, oh yeah, you can't really see the whole thing, huh? And I was like, why are you wearing that? What's the purpose of that underwear? It has no purpose. And then I told him you should throw it away. And he said, I'll throw away 
I'll, I'll throw that away later. I'm like, what do you mean later? Later for what? What is it going to do? What are you going to do with that thing? This is... You gotta... You gotta throw away right now! And I, I picked it up and I threw it away. Special underwear. It was like, if it was like a tiny hole, then I'd be like, oh, hey, you know, your underwear has a hole. But then it was, I kid you not, you can see the whole thing. It was like the underwear had no purpose. It, it lost its purpose. But apparently, like, male, like, do, yeah, dudes like things like you know like worn down even if there is like holes in the t-shirt the ones that they like they like to keep it even though there are holes in it like same thing with underwears and stuff what's wrong with you dude <laughs> why do you like to have freaking worn down shirts and shorts and socks and underwears no, he said, he, last night, he said, do you want Coke Zero with dinner? And I said, uh, sure, I'll take it. And then he gave me one. And there is no sound mind human will drink the whole freaking can. That shit is full of sugar. It's gonna destroy my, my body. So I drank it enough. Zero has no sugar. Yeah, but then it has a chemical that makes it sweet. It's not just the sugar that's bad for you. Then so why would you drink any? I drank enough. I drank, I drank the amount that I wanted to drink. Why do I have to finish the can? So oh, freaking holes in the underwear. Live free king. You deserve to wear the whole... Holy pants, holy underwear. How dare she did not finish the whole can of Coke Zero. Freaking, why do I have to finish the whole can, man? My thirst was quenched. That's all it needs to be. Who else is gonna see him in his underwear? You see, the, th the problem is my husband also has a pants with holes. So if those two holes line up, he will be showing his ding dong to everybody. <laughs> but that's due to his ass? It doesn't matter! That's the reverse solar eclipse. <laughs> when two holes line up, we should call it um, not solar eclipse, egg eclipse. Egg clips. E G G clips. Egg clips. Librarian taking notes. I have not seen Wata explaining. Where are my Wata explainings, man? Give me that Wata explaining. Kid, I'm not a pussy. You can't call me. I'm a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's him when he sees the egg clips. <laughs> Is that you humming, Austin? Come on! Not you? There. Does she walk? Does she talk? Does she come complete? My home new home knows. angel always pulled me from my seat. She was pure like snowflakes, no one could ever stain. The memory of my angel could never cause me pain. Years go by, I'm looking through a girl in a magazine. And there's my home room angel on the pages in between. My blood runs cold, my memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold, my angel is the centerfold. My blood runs cold, my memory has just been sold.
Angel is the centerfold. Slip me notes under the desk while I was thinking about her dress. I was shy, I turned away before she caught my eye. I was shaking in my shoes whenever she flashed those baby blues. Something had a hold on me when Angel passed close by. Those soft fuzzy sweaters, too magical to touch. To see her in that negligee is really just too much. My blood runs cold and my memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. Oh yeah, angel is the centerfold. Okay. It's okay, I understand. This ain't no never, never land. I hope that when this issue's gone, I'll see you when your clothes are on. Take your car, yes we will. We'll take your car and drive it. Take it to a motel room and take them off in private. A part of me has just been ripped. Pages from my mind are stripped. Oh no, I can't deny it. Oh yeah, I just look at a fire. My memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Na 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 na. All right, all right. One, two, three, four. Na 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 na. That's unity, baby. I didn't even have to doubt it. I knew he was coming in. My blood runs cold. My memory has just been sold. Angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. I think that was a pretty solid performance. Austin's A game is very good. I brought my A game. That's as good as it gets for me. So I, if you were expecting platinum, that's what you just got. So, I mean, obviously, hit the publish button on that one.